Hello, Model Railroaders. I'm Andy Dorsch from the Second Section Podcast, and today I want to give you all a tour of my model railroad. Today we are going to follow a train from our staging to staging to give you a good idea and a feel for how the railroad will operate. We will be rail fanning a pooled ore train from the Chicago Northwestern as it goes from the northernmost point of the railroad in Spread Eagle, Wisconsin to the mine junction near the division point in Antigo, Wisconsin. Today the train we will be following is the White Lake Mine Run which is a train that will cover almost the entire main line of the northern division of the Mascouten Valley Railroad. This train is a Chicago Northwestern train based from Antoin, Michigan that takes empty ore jennies to the iron mine and brings back iron ore pellet loads so that they can be shipped to the Escanaba ore dock. The power on the train will be a trio of Chicago Northwestern Alco C628s. These 2,750 horsepower brutes were commonly used in iron ore service in northern Wisconsin and upper Michigan in the 1970s and 1980s. With the train underway, the crew makes for Pine River Junction, which is our first stop in the northern division of the Mascouten Valley Railroad. The train comes through Pine River Junction as the three six-axle locomotives gingerly work their way through an old turnout on the way to Spread Eagle Yard. This switch leads down a branch that only has one customer, which is Pine River Wood Products. Pine River Wood Products is handled by a local out of the Spread Eagle Yard. The job typically has a GP7 or an SW1200 on it. The trains down the Pine River branch don't usually have more than 10 cars on them. But don't let the short trains fool you. This customer needs a train daily to bring in material and send out loads to customers that continually place orders for its high quality hardwood plywood and lumber. Picking back up with our ore train, we see that it's crossing a swing gate as it enters Spread Eagle Yard. The swing gate offers entry to the layout and gives the layout the ability to have a continuous run. I like the idea of a continuous run because it gives me a chance to break in locomotives. It also gives me an opportunity to let trains run around the layout while I do other tasks in the basement like clean it up or clean up the layout or some other simple tasks. Spread Eagle Yard is the terminal yard on the northern part of the railroad. It's a classic terminal yard that houses an engine facility, a car repair area, and of course a small classification yard to sort trains as they enter and leave the railroad. I'm anticipating that Spread Eagle Yard will be a busy place during operating sessions. The big Alcos dig around the curve at Blackwell, Wisconsin on the banks of the Pestigo River. Even though there appears not to be much there but plywood and foam, will be the location of a future paper mill. The classic North Wisconsin industry that brings in raw materials will generate newsprint and be hauled out by the Mascouten Valley. With the river as the source of water for the mill, this scene will lend itself to an interesting pairing of river scenery and big time in industry. As the train comes around the corner, it heads for Pickerel Junction. Pickerel Junction will be the place where trains divert to the western part of the railroad out to Eau Claire, Wisconsin. This will be served by a staging yard hidden from the rest of the railroad. It gives the railroad an opportunity to send freight west and bring goods east. It may not seem like much now, but Pickerel Junction will be an important part of the Mascouten Valley Railroad. This is where the Mascouten Valley be crossing the Wolf River near Pearson, Wisconsin. This will be a signature scene on the layout. This bridge will be modeled after the Milwaukee Road Bridge that spans the Menominee River near Kingsford, Michigan. This replica is currently being built by a buddy of mine uh, who was the same builder who made the bridge for Luke Lemon's Sioux Second Sub Bridge at Gill's Landing. I think Mike and I did a show from that location. I know it only looks like plywood now, but I'm excited to have a signature scene on the layout that's going to be visible right when you walk into the layout room. The crew of the ore train has now made it to the mine yard lead at Sherry Junction. 
The diverging route takes you down to the White Lake Iron Mine, while the through track takes you back to staging. Sherry Junction will be the first spot where northbound trains from the southern parts of the railroad enter the layout to make their way to Spread Eagle. This junction will be guarded by a small structure for a crew to maintain the turnout and the junction. It is also where crews coming back from the mine can contact a dispatcher for clearance back to Spread Eagle. The train has now re-entered staging and has come full circle showcasing the entire layout. As you can see there's a lot of work ahead of me however I'm really excited to finally see this vision come together. It's also been exciting for me to get the main line up and running because now I can sit back and relax and watch trains traverse the basement. Very excited to see what comes next for the Mascoot and Valley Railroad and I hope you all will join me on the journey. If you want to see more from the crew at the Second Section Podcast, check out another one of our videos. At the very least, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any Model Railroad content from the Second Section. I hope you enjoyed our vi video. Please have a great day.